Business leaders and delegates from New Zealand and Indonesia have met to reflect on improved relations and explore other areas in which the two countries can bilateral ties. The New Zealand delegation, led by Prime Minister John Key, is on a two-day visit to Indonesia, aimed at bolstering political and economic relations. New Zealand sees Indonesia as a key market, with opportunities plenty to explore cooperation in sectors, including renewable energy, education, aviation, technology and the food and beverage industry. At the end of June 2015, total trade between the two stood at $1.26 billion, with Indonesia's imports from New Zealand total $927 million New Zealand dollars and Indonesia's exports to New Zealand totaling $827 million New Zealand dollars. One of the agreements signed during his visit is between New Zealand e-commerce company Fishpond and Indonesia's largest retailer Mataharimal.com. Prime Minister Key has noted the importance of deals signed between New Zealand businesses and their Indonesian counterparts, commending President Joko's administration's efforts toward economic reforms. Representing Indonesia's latest and often so if you think about Indonesia, um, you've got a very young population, 150 million people under 30. Um, your, your, your average wages are rising, but you've got the capacity for them to go up a lot higher. You've still got 200 million people living on $2 a day. So your economy needs to generate jobs, and it needs to generate them rapidly. Uh, and if you do that, then you'll have, you know, basically not only a strong economy, but you know, basically you know, political harmony. So. Yeah, you know, I sort of encourage the president to keep doing what he's doing. It's always a difficult thing to do, but I always think when you're in office, you're not there just to have your feet under the desk. Ultimately, you're there to leave your country in better shape than you found it. And I think um, you know, one of the things we admire about Indonesia has been that it's it's the you know one of the largest democracies and certainly the largest Muslim democracy in the world. And I think you know it's always easy to criticise countries, but. I actually think Indonesia is doing extremely well at holding both very free and fair elections.